heavy snowfall on primary day in New Hampshire is an omen of things to come. The presidential hopes of Barry Goldwater and Nelson Rockefeller snowed under by a write-in vote for Henry Cabot Lodge, the man who did no campaigning and was half a world away. Despite the weather, the turnout was heavy. 100,000 were expected to vote, substantially more than 80,000 cast their ballots, and 35% wrote in a name, Henry Cabot Lodge. From the capital of the Granite State to the smallest hamlet on the Canadian border, the people seem to have made up their minds. Mr. Lodge's supporters had a campaign headquarters, but their efforts on behalf of their candidate were put in the shade by the whirlwind tours of Goldwater and Rockefeller. Meanwhile, Ambassador Lodge was at his post in South Vietnam as the ballots were counted. A projection of the early count showed the trend. It was a Lodge victory all the way. With the victor far from the scene of his triumph, his son George faced a barrage of questions from reporters. He said that he felt his father would remain at his post for the time being. The ambassador was at work in South Vietnam when he got the word, touring the front with Defense Secretary McNamara. As a Foreign Service officer, he could not discuss politics. But the man who emerged into national prominence as our ambassador to the United Nations may have ended the chances of Goldwater and Rockefeller.